So here's my 1995 Hoover Turbo Power 2 U2464. So I've been meaning to review this for absolutely ages. Well, for like a good month or something. But here it is. So I'll start from the bottom as usual and work up. Now, one of the things I'm going to say is I don't exactly know a lot about this machine because other YouTube, other 2464s are the lighter grey with the red bumper. So now I'm presuming this is more of a rarer exclusive model, but don't quote me on that. So whether it is or not, I don't know. But as you can see, it's a slightly darker colour. Uh, first of all, it's missing its randle on the handle there. I keep meaning to order some more. So I walk from the work from the bottom up. So you have your brush roll. Yes, there's a bit of hair on it. Don't worry. So one of the bearings in this. Um, well, when I first got it, the bearings did sound dry, obviously, but when I come to saw out one of the brush roll bearings, I think it was this one, it was um, absolutely caked. It's a wonder it actually still spun slightly. Um, one of the end caps, I think it's this one, isn't original because it was really rusted and it caused uh, this side of the hood to bounce up and down a bit. So, we have your quick release suction channel so if there's a blockage you can just simply remove it like so whereas earlier ones would have had a screw so I think it's it screw down here so you'd have to unscrew it and remove it that way still does have its stickers which is nice uh, one of the wheels on this does squeak I keep meaning to oil it but obviously I've not got round to it so there is a few scratches that I haven't been able to remove but it's not as bad as it was because when I first got it here and here there was like about part of that long um, white marks where it's been rubbed up against the skirting board or something but yeah it's been removed edge clean as you can see there's a few scuffs there and then you have your bumper as you can see there's a few more scratches there but I'm not really bothered about that. We can just get that into focus. That's where one of the white marks was. But so another thing with the other 2464s, um, if I remember right, it's on this side. It says Turbo Power 2 on this side. So I yeah, I, I'm like I say, I'm presuming this is a more rarer model exclusive. But again, like I say, do not quote me on that. Your height adjustment. Uh -uh. I usually got on this one for all my carpets. You have your royal appointment for that to focus. By appointment to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, manufacturers of vacuum cleans and laundry equipment, Hoover Limited, Martha Tidville. And it says Hoover there. So you have your post motor filter, and um, genuine one. I'll get to that in a minute. So, as you can tell, the back door isn't split on this, but it's missing its sales sticker. It says AutoSense. Uh, I will be demonstrating the tools on this because I've got a spare snapped back door, so I can show it that way. This bag has been used. It's got about that much in it. Reusable, genuine one. That's all I have. Your pre-motor filters. Now, if I can get this up and in the light, there we go. It's got the wider suction channel. On early models, it would have been just about like that wide. So, let's put all that back in. You have your auto sense, your on off, and your boost button, and your bag full light normal power when it senses dirt which boosts it and then high power so like I say it's missing its randall still but I'll get around to ordering some eventually now 
this when I got it, it was this and it's dusting brush, a upholstery tool, um, and that was it actually. It's got these two, your extension wand and your scabbard crevice tool. This has seen some pretty <laughs> good use, but and then these just connect like so. As you can tell it is a bit dusty, I've been using this quite a bit. But you have your dusting brush. Yes, I purposely store it that way because as I said before and I'll say it again, I don't want to put it that way and the heat of the motor melt the bristles and thus resulting in a messy brush. So I've nicked the upholstery brush tool rather off of the 1000 which then went onto the U716 so off the 1000 and off the U716 um, this isn't the upholstery tool this machine would have had originally it would have had this styled upholstery but it would have um, longer bristles probably about up to there for the stair cleaning so as you can see there's a groove in there for where it should have been uh, well, obviously it should be here, but I meant for what kind it was. It just simply... I like how I say simply and I can't get it back in. There we are. I'll show you the rating sticker before I forget. It's starting to peel off a bit, but... Model U246... Start again. I know you can pause and read it, but I'll read it out anyway. Hoover, model U2464, serial number. I'm not going to read all that out, but to there. 506.95 of June made in EC 700 to 800 watts 230 to 240 volts 50 hertz beep approved now this is for where on the turbo power 3 models the stair clean one where I'd have the stair clean hose which would have come up to about here would have been so when you're using the tools just for regular cleaning instead of the stairs there would have been um, like a little rubber thing about like that hook which would have hooked down here to stop the machine tipping over but obviously this doesn't have it so it's got the wider hose personally I'm not a huge fan of this it looks a bit messy but I personally prefer the slimmer hose so it's got the different hose cuff where uh, the I can't think really of the word I'm after, but the other ones would have had a straight hose cuff. And then you twist this, I'm trying to do it with one hand. I can't do it with one hand. But you'll twist that and then the cuff would separate. So if you needed to clear a blockage, you would do. Handle grip, that's what I'm after. Personally, I prefer this handle grip, it's easier. Well, a bit nicer to use, to be honest. So, I'll just move this a minute. You twist it this way, and this comes off to remove any blockages again. I don't know how we. That's your auto sense. Ignore that squeak there. Like that there we go. So I will just put this on. This is really awkward to do with one hand, but there we go. You have your handle release. You have your 6.5 meter cord. Correct me if I am wrong. Um, I'm not sure what this is in feet. I'll probably put a annotation on the screen saying how long it is in feet. You have your 360 degree swiveling cord hook. You have your lower cord hook and carrying handle. You have your relocated cord entry. You can see the blanking piece there for when it would have gone in there. But obviously for um, the stair clean ones with the hose being up about here, they relocated it to here. Plus it's a bit awkward anywhere in there. Um, what else? You have your carrying handle, the front carrying handle as well, so you can carry it from the front and back. And I think that's about it to say. So, I'll just plug this in and 
I'll get some sawdust to demonstrate. I probably want to cut this out, but I can't be asked to do that. So this is the snapped bag door I got. On. So let's see, that's what happens. So I'll demonstrate it with this, and then I'll do a demonstration of the tools as well. So I will just put the machine over here. I don't put too much down. So I know this will set off the auto sense. So now I don't know if anybody else has noticed this. With if anybody else does have this model, but I've noticed the auto sense. Oh, yeah, the auto sense isn't really that sensitive. It kind of isn't. Kind of isn't. Personally, I find it's more sensitive on the one thousand. But I'll put some sawdust over there for the tools as well. So, I'll demonstrate it in its low power and with the auto sense, you know, triggering. Then I'll do it in high power and I'll demonstrate the tools as well. So, with that done, just mind this flight out of the way. Here we go. Oscar's running off as usual. the oh that's reeks when it's in high power because um, the previous owner used an air freshener in this and it's gone into the plastic of the little grill that holds the filter in place but it's not as bad as the 1000 luckily <coughs> so what I'll do is I'll demonstrate the cuff now I personally usually just leave it in low power, so yes, the auto sense goes up and down, but that doesn't bother me. But I'll demonstrate like that, then I'll put it in high power. So I'll take these tools off prior because it's going to be a bit of a pain in the ass to do it when um, thing when it comes to doing that. I'll put a bit of sawdust on here to demonstrate the dusting brush. Put a bit more sawdust down as well, just for the tools. There we go. So. I'll take this off as well. Right. So, like I say, I'll just show it in low and then I'll boost it. This is your triple stretch hose. I can't really stretch it out anymore, but...
I know I missed a bit but I'll get back to that later so that is a demonstration of my 1995 Hoover Tiger Power 2 U2 uh, U246 yeah, bleh, I cannot speak today U2464 there so thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed